I have recorded this two times now. Um, and one got corrupted in files. The other one, I don't know what happened to it. But I think this is an important to topic to talk about in history. And that is the First Crusades, or even all the Crusades. So as a clean, we're going along in a four-episodic journey during this time. We're going to watch kingdoms rise and gain territory, and of course, a kingdom to fall for the actions. But I just want to say this. This was about the idea of the uh, politics around the Crusades. Uh, this is when religion and politics really were combined as one, uh, comparable to today where it's very separate. And first of all, let's talk about what time we're in. We're in 1096. And the East and the Eastern Roman Empire, or the Byzantine Ro uh, Empire, is run by Alexios the uh, First. Alexio uh, is known to be really good at m winning wars, but when the Seljuk Turks uh, invade Jerusalem and get closer, shrinking the Byzantine Empire more and more, he ends up going to the Pope or Pope Urban II to get his uh, to ask him to help him. Now it is kind of weird. Why would he go to the Pope to ask um, to go to take back the Holy Land or something. Well, again, he's a, it's a small little it's a small empire now because of the Seljuk Turks. So he needs more men to help him get to get rid of these Seljuk Tur uh, these Seljuk Turks. Uh, a big thing about the Crusades is that it was all done a lot by mounted cavalry. Uh, it was this because of also the Seljuk Turks knowing to be cavalry people. But what were the Seljuk Turks even doing during this time? Did they know about the Crusades happening? Unlikely. Now, I would like to talk about um, Peter Peter the Hermit, or particularly uh, Peter Hermit and the and his and the peoples. See, when the Crusades was coming together, they needed to find different armies, and Peter thought, hey. Why don't I grab the different low low end knights, you know, poor knights, and different types of farmers to be part of the military and go after the Holy Land immediately? He does this, and well, he does horrible actions. One of the things is that Peter's men do, variety, do vile women of Jerusalem, and of course, hurt thousands of people while doing it. It, it was just an absolute uh, massacre of horrible things happening. Now. Alexio probably just didn't maybe care about Peter. He was more angry about what just happened. <laughs> and so he ends up grabbing all his groups of better knights, more more honorable ones, and well-kept uh, kept ones, and the best warriors he could ever find. He even got the support of the Normans, people that he's previously fought, to help him. During this time, they would go and siege what is known as uh, anti uh, Anticor, I can't say it correctly. I hope I am saying it. Anti court. They have a siege there, and this siege was very was a was a big grounds for the Crusades, and it was again very bad. <laughs> it was around eight months. It, it was during all eight months during this siege, and the Muslims were believing that they won, or the Celtic Turks, better to say, um, they believed that they were winning at this current moment. There's an issue though. <laughs> The issue was particularly with um, the Crusaders, who were basically trying to survive diseases and famine as well. Some even deserted as a claim from the from the siege, but many of the, so many of them did stay and ended up sieging successfully Andercourt out of all possible odds. After this, they end up going to Jerusalem and taking the Holy Land, which, from what I've been reading, it seemed that it was easy. It seemed like they just kind of walked up there and just said, we're taking it. Maybe they did, of course, uh, from what I also can find, is that they did probably fought some soldier Turks and even Jerusalem-type soldiers as well. Um, but particularly now, Jerusalem was in new hands with the Catholic Church at the very end of the day. Pope Urban and Alexio got what they wanted. Alexio got a, finally a bigger empire, and Pope Urban got to get the Holy Land. Uh, now, it's including... This is just the very beginning of the Crusades. The Crusades will continue and get worse and worse, not on just the Catholic or the Catholic Christian side of the Crusaders, but instead it will also get worse with the Muslims. Now, Muslims are Seljuk Turks, and 
another thing to also to say is they the particular crusaders would continue creating crusader states like Edessa and Levant. Now, oh no, sorry, not, not Edessa and Tresley. I can't say it correctly. I'm sorry, but these will also be catalyst uh, things that will also be part of this next crusade. And it's just crazy to think about that it's been so many years since this time. And there is so many different crusades, and I would recommend going to look it up yourself. Um, that's all how much I have to talk about for the crusades of this episode. Um, stay tuned for a second episode that may come soon. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.